So within the tribulation timeline, it is a matter of fact, as we all argued before, and we know where it's paving the way for, is that it has to usher in a new world order kingdom where the Bible talks about peace and safety. You see that? And we see that trend right now, people trying to emphasize safety through the vaccines and etc. And then you'll notice over here that they stress, the Bible also talks about where the Antichrist will bring a 666 system. It's ushering in. So a 666 system has to be ushered in. Why? Because uh, we're going to be using a system buy 666 to buy and sell and it's so you'll notice over here that coins are not going to be in there during that time it's not going to be standard money that you hold it's going to be done through a mark system that's what we see you also see over here that what the devil is going to take advantage of is that he's going to afflict the poor if you look at matthew chapter 25 jesus says that the poor are you have to minister to them during the tribulation. Why? Because if you don't buy and sell, then you're obviously going to be poor. So these are the good guys during the tribulation. The Antichrist people, they're going to be those who partake in this monetary system. So then as we're heading toward all over here, then let's look at current events, how this is paving the way for that. And as we look at current events, it's, it's very interesting that, remember there are, emphasizing safety right this is getting closer to this this is getting right here okay this is getting right here and then you'll see these things partaking into that this one is a very interesting article that you're gonna find out and the title of this article this is by Raul Diego and it's July 10th 2020 the title is Africa to become testing ground for trust stamp vaccine record and payment system. Now, uh, this is actually more of a, a liberal left-wing news source, all right? This is not more Christian or conservative. This is liberal left-wing news source. So this is going to be very interesting what they read. And then if you want to fact check it, the obvious answer is, Look at some of the terms that they use and then clarify if a lot of if how much of it is true or not. So this news article over here, you'd be surprised how much of it is true. But every specific detail I would advise where you're going to have to clarify which part may be misinformation or right information. But I am reading from you a left wing source. OK, look what these people say. The program, which was first launched in late 2018, We'll see Trust Stamps digital identity flat platform integrated into the Gavi MasterCard Wellness Pass, a digital vaccination record and identity system that is also linked to MasterCard's click to play system that powered by its AI and machine learning technology called New Data. Now look what they do. Let's keep reading. MasterCard, in addition to professing its commitment to promoting centralized record keeping of childhood immunization, also describes itself as a leader toward a world beyond cash. And its partnership with Gavi marks a novel approach towards linking a, look at this, biometric digital identity system vaccination records, and a payment system into a single cohesive platform. Wow, the effort since, it, I told you, it's getting more into this. The effort since it's launched nearly two years ago, two years ago they've been doing it, has been funded via $3.8 million in Gavi donor funds in addition to a match donation of the same amount by the WHO Oh, you would not guess, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Of course, of course. Around a month later, MasterCard announced that Trust Stamps Biometric Identity Platform would be integrated into Wellness Pass as Trust Stamps System is capable of providing biometric identity in areas of the world lacking internet access or cellular connectivity. 
and also does not require knowledge of an individual's legal name or identity to function. The wellness program involving Gavi, MasterCard, and Trust Stamp will soon be launched in West Africa and will be coupled with a, look at this, this program where they're trying to uh, do it more and more toward a cashless but more of an electronic system. Uh, mentions over here will be, Trust Stamp will soon be launched in West Africa and will be coupled with a COVID-19 vaccination program once a vaccine becomes available. They're waiting. See, once the vaccine comes out, then I would advise this. Look, uh, pay attention to what's going to happen next. All right? Pretty soon they might be putting something where it's not 666, but something cashless and something or something electronic. So I'm not saying that in uh, this one that I can say 100% that it is cashless, but this is something electronic that they're doing. And not only that, they did mention over here that they're trying to combine it into one single cohesive system where they want to do biometric digital identity, vaccination records, and payment system. See? That's what they're trying to do all together. Pretty so Okay, so they're waiting for this to come out, they said, though. And this is funded by uh, yours, tr uh, by his truly, Bill Gates Foundation, of course, you know, coincidentally, right? Then it might head toward here, and then just wait a little longer, and then it's going to hit towards something here, where it's going to be 1 plus 1 equals 2, right here. Just wait for that day. Now, here's another one. Indeed, the Gavi Alliance, largely funded by who? This Gavi. So this is... Uh, Gavi is involved in this one, as well as MasterCard and etc. Indeed, the Gavi Alliance, largely funded by who? Bill and Melinda Gates, and who else? And Rockefeller Foundations. Rockefellers are involved. As well as allied governments and the vaccine industry. See, governments and vaccine industries are getting involved. Is principally concerned with improving, quote, the health of markets for vaccines and other immunization products, rather than the health of individuals, according to its own website. Similarly, MasterCard's Gavi partnership is directly linked to its world beyond cash effort, which mainly bolsters its business model that has long depended on a what? Reduction in the use of physical cash. There it is. So this may be more 100% cashless than what I have said that it may not be. How about that? Well, 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 we're getting there. Just wait a little longer, okay? Yeah. Next month might be the rapture, and then the next year they might introduce it, right? You just never know when. But it's coming toward there. It's definitely coming there. But now you notice that the tone of this author over here, the tone of this author is like as if that they're not really considering the health of the individuals, and it's like taking advantage of West Africa, actually. And actually, there are people in Africa who do believe that this is something where they're taking advantage of them. And they're complaining, wait, what about, why don't you get onto the more rich or the more upper class people? Why do you have to use us as part of your experiment concerning where you're doing the vaccines and, or anything tied to COVID-19 or et cetera? Mm -hmm. So here's a complaint. This is by Fox 5 New York. Title of the article, Protest versus Africa's First COVID-19 Vaccine Test Shows Fear. This is by Kara Anna, published July 1st. Now, this is what one of them said. The people chosen as volunteers for the vaccination, they look as if they're from poor backgrounds, not qualified enough to understand. Pro protest organizer Fapano Fasha told the Associated Press ahead of the event. We believe they are, she, uh, the person said this, we believe they are manipulating the vulnerable. Wow. Now remember, the Antichrist system is what? Taking advantage of the poor. The narrative we got is our continent is a dumping ground, Fascia said. First ensure the vaccine works elsewhere before bringing it to Africa, she added. 
Why not target more affluent parts of South African society, Fascia asked. <laughs> I believe in science, she said, and I believe that science has managed to solve most of the problems society is faced with. I'm not against vaccinations. I'm against profiteering. Fellow protesters sang and danced with banners saying, we are not, we not guinea pigs and no safe vaccine. That's what they said over there with banners. If you want to test, test in the areas which they call the epicenter of the world, demonstrator Sean Goss said. So these people believe that the upper class or the elitist, so to speak, speak are taking advantage of them. But I'll tell you what, the Bible says that um, the Antichrist, he will do that. Look at Psalms chapter 10. Now look at, look at verse 15. This is undoubtedly the wicked of the timeline of the tribulation. Break thou the arm of the wicked and the evil man. Seek out his wickedness to thou find none. The Lord is king forever and ever. The heathen are perished out of his land. Ah, look at this. So notice that the Lord now is reigning in his kingdom on the earth. And he got rid of the heathen, the pagan countries ruling. Who are those? Those are clearly the Antichrist armies. The Lord clears them out and sets up his kingdom. That's what we know at Revelation 19. He conquers the heathen armies of the Antichrist and sets up his kingdom. Now look at this, verse 18. Why does God do this? To judge the who? Fatherless and the oppressed, that the man of the earth may no more oppress. See, so, some of the poor people over here, they're arguing that this is more of an oppression type, they're saying. They're being used by the elite. And actually, the Antichrist, he will truly oppress the poor. This becomes more real during the timeline of the tribulation. This becomes more real where he takes advantage of the poor during that time. So we're seeing things rising up over here. Also look at verse 2. What do the wicked do? Interesting how your King James Bible words it. The wicked in his pride doth persecute the poor. Let them be taken in the what? Devices that they have imagined. Think about all today's devices that we use today electronically that people's imaginations run endlessly. Now, I can understand that the context would be ref referenced more to, you know, what they're thinking of, what they're conjuring up in their imagination. But let me tell you something. That's definitely applied today with their electronic society. They will use these devices, so to speak, to take advantage of the poor people. So Psalms chapter 10, yes, we can say it's talking about the devices that they imagine, so to speak, that the things that they create in their heart. But guess what? That it does include electronically if we come to the timeline of the tribulation. More real than you think. But see, the devil, he wants them to divert their attention from that oppression. So then he replaces it with a different oppression. That's how you can fool the people with the Antichrist system, thinking that these uh, elitists, they're looking out for your welfare because he's going to replace it with a different type of oppression. But before I read the different type of oppression, let me read you an article that's kind of scary. This is by Forbes, July 7, 2020. Title of the article by Shahar Zeev is, title of the article, 2,000 a day fine for obstructing coronavirus contact tracing. So what do they mean by this? Officials, this is happening currently, okay? Officials in New York's Rockland County recently got aggressive about contact tracing, issuing subpoenas to eight partygoers who refused to, co to cooperate with tracking efforts. If the eight had failed to comply, they would have been subject to fines of $2,000 per day. However, within 24 hours, all eight acquiesced, signaling that the threat of a monetary fine may be an effective health policy tool, see, used done for safety, to mitigate the spread of coronavirus. My, 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 okay, how about that? But let's, uh, let's get rid of this oppression that the elites are doing. Let's get rid of this oppression. 
the poor, they don't see that they're oppressed. They see the wrong oppression here. And they disguise it with what? They disguise it with ridiculous things. The oppression comes from the riots that happened, BLM and etc. See that? So then they can't see their oppression over here. You replace it with a different oppression, especially you got the power of the stinking news media that just parades about it. Then you see you blind them to a different thing. And then they're leaning more of this oppression. You know where they're leaning it more toward? To anything Christian. That's right. See that? That's why the elites can control these guys. Why? By putting, by putting the blame on someone else. These guys are oppressing you. Not us. And they do it invisibly. Scary stuff. All right, so let's look at our ridiculous world. Okay, this is, okay, this is, okay, if some of you argue that, well, I really don't think that those people who are protesting, that's a form of oppression. Okay, I can, I can understand that. Maybe it may not be as much oppression to you, but these people thought it was. But let's ex exclude that one. The riots that are going on now, that is more ridiculous in oppression. That's a very weak level tire compared to this one that the people in Africa are protesting about. This is by David Kaufman, all right? The title of his article is, you won't believe it, The Unintentional Racism Found in Traffic Signals. Traffic lights. What way? Okay, you won't believe it, okay? Do you know that... Uh, stop sign and then the walk sign what color is the walk sign it's why so he says this I wanted to know more I wanted to know how why, how and why this gender and race neutral messaging had been replaced by little white men he says <laughs> oh my goodness this is just ridiculous now if you think that's even uh, if you think that's ridiculous this is worse Look up online, this is all over tweets, okay, in social media. But I'll give you one person example, uh, by Brittany Marshall. And then she tweeted this, and then obviously, uh, I think she took it down because of the embarrassment of her, the, her statement. She said this, nope, the idea of two plus two equaling four is cultural and because of Western imperialism colonization. We think of it as the only way of knowing. This is math. I'm, we're talking about math over here. We're talking about math. <laughs> Here's another one. This is by NBC News. This is what they tweeted. A video of an Oregon State police officer appearing to make a white power symbol at a Black Lives Matter protest on Saturday in Salem, Oregon, has prompted an internal investigation. Ooh, so that guy should be arrested. Well, actually, I'm not going to do it here. Uh, I noticed that, I, that back then, I thought it was normal, but now it's not normal. And that's the okay hand signal. Mm -hmm. Didn't you know that? Yeah, using your hand signal for okay is now considered as a, a white power symbol, actually. It's something racist. So you can't even do that again. So then if you're like a police officer trying to do like okay, concerning about traffic and guiding everything, that's considered <clears throat> wrong. You can't do that. Now, I don't know if this is a racist symbol, but... Yeah, that's the next one now. Yeah, you can't make any hand signal. But this, is, but this is really sad. People are seriously getting affected by this. this is, the title of this article is by uh, NBCS San Diego 7. The title of the article is SDG&E Worker Fired Over Alleged Racist Gesture Says He Was Cracking Knuckles. This was by Priya Sridhar, published... Uh, this was updated June 19, 2020. June, okay? Basically, when he was cracking his fingers, his knuckles outside, he, he accidentally did that symbol with your hands, <clears throat> and then he got fired. This is, okay, this is oppression, really? This is, this is, the, okay. So you notice what the uh, you notice how the world is shifting and what the devil's trying to do. You see that it's get yes, he is Hispanic actually. He is Hispanic, so he is Hispanic too. So the poor the poor guy got fired from his job just because of cracking his knuckles. 
My goodness. Now, if you think that's ridiculous, CNN Business has an article titled Burger King's Latest Sustainability Effort, which is what? Reduce cow farts. What? I kid you not. Burger King's li really trying to do that right now. Why? Because the Wall Street Journal has this article titled Joe Biden unveils $2 trillion plan to combat what? Climate change. $2 trillion. $2 trillion, people. <laughs> Biden claimed this, which is interesting. Uh, he claimed that it would be a nine-year span left until it is irreversible and it will be too late. Ooh. Look at this timeline, people. There might be a lot more action ahead. The Washington Times has this article by Miley Cyrus, which is getting really ridiculous. The title of the article, Miley Cyrus, I refuse to have kids until climate change resolved. <laughs> so a lot of people, they're making a big deal, see, or the oppression or the brutality on what? The plants and the animals and a lot of things about our cultures nowadays. And they're blinding you away from this one. See, the devil has to replace something else with something else. But this is getting more anti-Christian now because look at this. CNN, Don Lemon, you know what he stated? And you can uh, Google search it and just watch him say it on CNN with Cuomo going like that. What did he say? He, he said Jesus Christ admittedly was not perfect. He said Jesus Christ was not a perfect person. And then he brought up the fact where people were deifying the founding fathers of America. So they weren't perfect people. They hold slaves. Wait a minute. Why are they using, why is he using Jesus Christ as an example about people deifying? See, he's, he's denying, he's putting down and negating the deity of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. That's what, that's what CNN did. Now, what they're doing, they're trying to uh, replace Christ with a different Christ. That's, right. That's what's going on. Now, this uh, cashless society is getting more and more and more because CNN has this article by Scotty Andrew and June 18, 2020. And one of our sisters mentioned about uh, going to Walmart and mentioning about because of a coin shortage going on that they're not uh, that we can't be able to use as coins as much anymore, get the change, etc. It's more leaning toward something electronic. They like that more. It's convenient. So the title of this article is Another Consequence of the Pandemic. It's a consequence of the coronavirus. What? A nationwide shortage of coins. S see, this COVID-19 is really, I really believe this was ushering the time of the Antichrist to come in. It's rushing it. Yeah. So here's the thing is that um, a lot of people, they get terrified and scared about, you know, is it, if I get the vaccine, then I'm taking the mark of the beast and that uh, we are heading toward over there. And they're trying to uh, combine everything together and think that they're going through the tribulation. They're condemning wearing masks because they think it's a sign of worship for the Antichrist. You gotta realize this, we're not there yet. See, there's a dispensation that's dividing us. And please watch Dispensationalism Part 3. That way you don't panic and get worried. Because all these things I read to you, yes, we are getting toward over there. But for crying out loud, this is not it. That's not the genuine article yet. The genuine article is actually really like this, really eliminating this, and really where it's being safety measure that combines this together. All right? This is just a precursor and stepping stone. It's not the real 666. So people get worried and scared and they think that they're complying to the Antichrist government by going all these restrictions and orders. No, under this timeline, the age of grace, people's got to understand over here that this is impossible for us. We're raptured before the tribulation. And by the way, if you actually read Revelation, you'll notice that the current events, it, it shows only indications of it. It shares some parts with it, but it's not the real thing yet. If we, I mean, there's still a distinction with everything going on with here. All this is still distinguished from here. But you can tell all these things, they're trying to get there. They're trying to get there.
So just uh, trust in the Lord and don't worry about everything that's going on in our day and age. A lot of people, they just worry about all kinds of things when you should trust God. And however churches run things, don't bash them in the head if uh, they can't come to church or if they wear a mask or if they don't wear a mask or they choose vaccines or they don't choose vaccines, etc., etc. Go by Romans 14, let every man go by his own conviction over here. You can't force your conviction down another person. Amen. So uh, the Bible says, as much as possible lieth within you, live peaceably with all men. During this timeline, this is where resistance has to come forth. But during this timeline, we're under Romans 13. We're under the book of 1 Peter, where Paul and Peter, they were under oppressive Roman regimes under persecution, but they say it submit to the powers that be. The only time we cross the line, friend, is if it clearly contradicts the Bible. That's it. If it clearly contradicts a doctrine, then that's it. That's where we draw the line. So uh, be at peace, brethren. I'm at peace. I mean, I know California made the lame rule again, and we're under lockdown again, but I'm at peace. I just do what God calls me to do. Amen. All right. So let's just wait upon the Lord and see what he does. So the poor will be judged, and the rich will take advantage. Look at verse 10 of Psalms chapter 10, and then verse uh, 8. We're going to close it over here. Look at verse 8. He sitteth in the lurking places of the villages, in the secret places doth he murder the in innocent. His eyes are privately set against the poor. Look at that. That's what they're doing, right? See, it's all private. They're not doing it, uh, they're not doing it publicly. Verse 9. He lieth in wait secretly as a lion in his den. He lieth in wait to catch the poor. Ah, see, they want to catch them underneath your nose. For their program, their agenda. Verse 10, he croucheth and humbleth himself that the poor may fall by his strong ones. Ah, so look at this. He's humbling himself like them. Oh, I'm thinking about you. I'm Soros and I give billion dollars to support your causes. Ah, look at that. And then you eventually reach where Don Lemon says, Jesus is not perfect. You take out God out of the picture because look at verse 4. The wicked through the pride of his countenance, Don Lemon, right, will not seek after God. God is not in all his thoughts. Right. Prophecy is getting fulfilled more and more and more, and we're heading toward the tribulation. Get ready.